Previously on Dare to Dream, Team FX Primus Aliso endured a harrowing yet rewarding race weekend at the Shanghai International Circuit. Zen's hard push at the start while reserving tyres for Afik, combined with Afik's great overtaking from 7th, gave Team FX Primus Aliso one of the best podiums of the season so far. A well-deserved podium that was the result of everyone's hard work. Once again, China played host to a weekend that tested the team's capabilities and teamwork under pressure. We also witnessed the scariest moment in a driver's life when a steering wheel comes off at high speed. Zen's quick thinking at 250 kilometers an hour saved him and the car from hurtling through the runoff area. Shanghai gave the team two second-placed finishes, one that was joyously celebrated by the team as they neared the end of a trying championship. The mood within the team was high as they prepared to return home for the final two races of the Lamborghini Blancpain Super Trofeo Asia Series 2014. It was a tranquil November morning at Sepang International Circuit that was broken when more than 30 Lamborghinis started their engines at the track. Teams posed for a quick group shot before the start of an intense battle at the Malaysian Circuit. It was the final race weekend, one that was filled with weather unpredictability, as is sometimes the case at Sepang Circuit. There were a lot of photos being taken over the weekend, especially with Team FX Primus Alizo's title sponsors bringing their guests to experience a race weekend with the team. The Malaysian lady of drifting, Miss Leona Chin, also made an appearance with Prince Lubricants. Drivers joked around before the start of the final two Lamborghini Super Trofeo Asia series. As guests braved the rain to pose for shots. The race weekend will also see the Super Trofeo World Finals, where the top teams from the three series held around the world are pitted against one another to battle for the glory of being named the best. As usual, hospitality preparations, driver's briefing, car setup, testing, and grid girls were all there before the start. As the race went on, all else is forgotten. Just man, machine and the circuit. Starting the race from third on the grid was a good start for the team. Afik managed to pressure the leader from the start before taking the lead halfway through his stint. You know, the setup was uh, good. My car is faster than the...